1,972 days ago, Bloxfruits released to the Roblox platform. And since its release, it's rose to be the most successful game in all of Roblox, averaging over 500,000 players daily and raking in 34 billion total visits. But Bloxfruits wasn't always the success it is now, which is why today we're going to be revisiting the history of Bloxfruits, starting from update 1 all the way to update 23, so we can see where it began and all the changes that came along the way. Update 1. Also, I just want to say full credit to x 2 Ver. He's the one that uploaded this video with all the clips of all the updates. I'll leave his channel linked in the description, but let's get in. To it. So this is the old menu screen. It looks pretty much the same, except there's one difference. You guys can see here, look at that buggy. But if we log into the game now, this is what it looks like now. It's no longer buggy. It's some random pirate guy. All right, let's see what update one looked like. Okay, okay. He spawned on a marine side. Marine leader, quest, trainees. Yep, it's the same quest. Gotta defeat five trainees. He's using the magma, magma fruit. Wait, what? That looked weird. Hold on, hold on. Let's see that again. He used magma Ooh. fist. So that's how it looked before. I'm not gonna lie. That looked kind of dookie. Also, it looks like the other moves are completely different. We have Magma Fist, Exploding Volcano, Magma Blast, and Meteor Volcano, which as you can see is a completely different moveset than the current Magma. By the way, this is the Unawakened Magma. Let's see what else is different though. First of all, I noticed the walking animation looks weird. Dark Blade also looks weird. Like that looks completely different on his back. Oh, that's right. There used to be an inventory box. This is where you would hold your weapons and stuff. He's got a Dark Blade in there and a Warden Sword. Kind of interesting. So this is what PvP used to look like back then. These animations are so stagnant. Like I, I don't even know what I'm looking at. At. Like, look at this. This is like a whole like war zone right here. Like, just to give you an example, those were how the effects looked before for magma. And this is how they look now. Magma clap, magma eruption, magma fist, magma meteors, like magma floor. Like this just looks 10 times better. Also during update one, the max level used to be 300. And these were the only fruits that used to exist in the game. Bomb used to be the worst fruit in the game. And the best one used to be the Buddha fruit. Update two. And the person here is typing string string is out. So I guess that's when they added the string fruit. Huh? Of course, it's not called the string fruit anymore. Now it's called spider. Oh, they didn't just add string. They also also added the phoenix fruit so they added phoenix in update two that's interesting i'm not gonna lie what is this footage this thing is on mobile what the heck what is that he's not even doing anything oh is he going to fishman island this must have been when they added the new island okay okay see you need to jump in this is this man's first time experiencing the fishman island which today it works exactly the same they haven't changed anything like that if you go over here it takes you the same fishman island way back one now, update two changes were pretty decent but let's see how the third update is update three this is what the old icon used to look like wow update three they added my favorite fruit to the game rumble and it looks like this is also the update where they added the upper sky lens as well as the god and l boss which is interesting because if we go to upper sky pia now we can see that this boss is no longer named a nell god he's now named thunder god and looks a bit different now update four compared to the other previous ones was considered a smaller update for this update the only actual thing they added was the sand fruit and Dark Blade V2, which you guys can see right here. I believe this is the Dark Blade V2 puzzle he's trying to do right now, even though he has the saber equipped, so he can't even do it even if he wanted to. Also, look at the fruit he has equipped, Gum Gum. They have a different moveset now. Gum Pistol, Gum Bazooka, Gum Gatling, and Gear 2. If I go equip the rubber right now, I believe the new rubber has a completely different moveset. Yeah, Cannon Smash, Rush, Transformation, and Slingshot. Update 5. Let's see what they changed in this one. Okay, he's talking to the Blocks Fruits dealer. Let's see, did they end the end of the fruits? Oh, Gravity. So, up Update 5 was when they got their first mythical fruit. That is very interesting. And it is still 2300 Robux to this day. Let's see. Does it look any different compared to what it does now? We have completely different movesets. Okay, that's Gravity Push, but it's called something different. It's called Fierce Tiger. And then the second move is Gravity Obeisance. That's the same. Meteor Pitch, that's the same. Fire Festival is different. Boulder Flight is different. And just for comparison, we're in game right now to the current Blocks fruits, which by the way, looks so much better. We have Gravity. I think that's still the same icon. Yeah, we have Gravity Push, Gravity Obeisance, Meteor Pitch, Meteor rain boulder flight actually it looks like the moves look pretty much the same except the first move is called gravity push now instead of whatever the heck that other move was called and then obviously the alt is no longer called fire festival oh is this when they added the fountain and the frankie boss huh okay that is interesting nice also i'm noticing the mastery max used to be 500 whereas now every single fruit weapon or fighting style has a maximum mastery of 600 as you guys can see here and apart from gravity and fountain city being added in update 5 the last thing they changed was increase the level capacity to 750 which made update five a pretty good update however update six was not as special as we can see in update six here it was a new pvp update which added gun skills marine perks pirate crew system and a wanted poster system which made this a bit of a smaller update as it mostly focused on the pvp system and just to show they added this cannon weapon right here which as you guys can see based of those effects does not look that appealing also looks like they added a boat dealer for pirates i guess before they only had it for marines that's <laughs> that's kind of crazy and this is how the boats used 
to look back at the day, huh? Damn, I actually kind of like the way those look better, I'm gonna be honest. Moving on to update seven, though. What did they add this time? Is this when they added the paw fruit? Wow, okay, okay. This is by Axior, too. There's clips by Axior. Is that paw barrage right there? I'm not gonna lie. Paw looks exactly the same. Bear shock. Okay, this is a third ability. That that, that looks exactly the same. And then we have the ultimate here. Let's see what this looks like. Bro, that looks exactly the same. Last ability here. Self repel. Wow. Several years since the paw fruit came out. And the only thing that has changed is the name. Pain fruit. And in case y'all don't believe me, let's go ahead and equip it. Heavy pain. Looks exactly the same. Doesn't even look no better. Pain barrage. Once again, exactly the same. Pain nuke, which I guess is a different name, but it's the same exact ability. Self repel and torture. All of the same. Comment down below if you think we deserve a pain rework. Now, update seven was cool, but update eight changed blocks fruits forever. And the reason why is we got the expansion of the second C. You guys can see this is the Rose Kingdom. It looks pretty much exactly the same. Looks like they changed the walking animation a little bit too and the HUD of the game. It looks a little bit more touched up. They added the barrier fruit in update eight as well. Yeah, okay. He's looking at the fruit notifier right now or notifier. God, fruit dealer. I, can't, I don't know why I can't speak. Looks like all they added was the barrier fruit to update eight. I don't think they added any other ones. Oh, okay. It's straight into the old barrier towers, barrier wall. This looks exactly the same too. So both paw fruit and barrier never got changed. Aside from barrier and second C being added, the level capacity was now a thousand. Several new islands were added to the game, such as Kingdom of Rose, Green Zone, Dark Arena, Graveyard, Usopp's Island, and many other small ones. Also a bunch of new bosses, as well as weapons. Now, if you were a fan of the changes in update eight, you're definitely gonna love the ones in update nine. Level got increased to level 100. They added new island. They added the dough fruits. So this is the addition of the second mythical fruit in Blocks Fruits history. They also added a secret fighting style. I believe this is superhuman if I'm not mistaken. A new secret sword and a bunch of other changes. And yes, the secret fighting style was superhuman and the secret weapon is the Church of Katana. But I'm curious to see what the old Church of Katana in dough fruit used to look like. All right, so for the moves of dough, it looks like they have fried dough, sticky dough, carved dough, restless dough barrage, and roller donut which to me sounds the same, but let's see him showcase it. We'll see if it's any different. Fried dough. Wow, that looks exactly the same. Did it even change at all? By the way, this is the unawakened version of dough. They did not have awakened dough back in the day. Sticky dough. I believe that looks exactly the same as it does now. Maybe slightly worse. Roller donut obviously looks pretty much the same. But just to know for sure, let's see if unawakened dough changed at all. So we still have sticky dough. And yeah, it looks exactly the same. Not a single change. Fried dough, roller donuts. It looks exactly the same as what it released like five years ago. But nevertheless, update nine was definitely an amazing day for domains and dough lovers. Update 10, almost halfway through all of the updates. Law, is this when they added the control fruit? Our third mythical in block fruits. Control area. Okay, everything looks pretty much the same. It also looks like this update, they added the hot and cold island, which means obviously with that came the law raid and all the boss drops that came with him. But as far as the moveset goes, it looks like everything is the same. Levitate appears to be functioning the same exact way as it does now with no visual changes or anything such as that you still pick up items and everything then like you could now and it looks like all the other moves are the same as well echo knife gamma rush and teleport and to end update 10 the last thing they changed was increase the level capacity to 1250 update 11 looks like an update 11 rare artifacts have been removed and have been replaced by fragments now this i already knew because i talked about it in a previous video where i went over the things that have been removed from blocks fruits here are all new prices of all things which used artifacts okay first we have a Arithmetic, yeah, that takes a thousand fragments. That's the chip used for the law raid. What else they got? Dragon's breath, 1500 fragments. This right here is the crew captain, which can make your crew bigger, 3000 fragments. Basically for all these NPCs, instead of using fragments, you used to have to trade in a rare artifact in order to get the upgrade of the item. And in order to get a rare artifact, what you had to do was defeat a dark beard boss. But it looks like there's also race reroll you can get for it, stat refund, and a flower boat, as well as kabucha. And then it looks like they're gonna do a black beard raid right now. Okay, them boys actually completed it. They got fragments from it. I guess back then that was the way you get fragments, huh? They also added Sea Beast in update 11, but you could also get fragments from that. Law Raid. This is also an update 11. Wait, no, this is an update 10. Well, I guess they're just showing it now. Zebra K, Coco. Oh, they added the chess minigame in update 11. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I've never used that. Comment down if you guys do. It's a waste of time in my opinion. Fruit Awakenings. Oh, this is when they added Fruit Awakenings in the raids. Which, by the way, when update 11 came out, there was only three fruits that actually could awaken. Flame, Ice, and Quake. So update 11 was a pretty massive update but let's see if update 12 was so for update 12 we have gamer robot himself showing it oh we got the light awakening we have a couple different moves divine arrow swords of judgment light speed destroy wrath of god in the flight okay the arrow looks pretty similar actually no that looks pretty different to be honest i think light v2 may have gotten updated Okay, yeah, that looks a lot slower. 
Yeah, yeah, the arrow looks quite a bit slower. The sword he's holding though looks way different. Like, look at that. That, that. that looks way worse then than it did now. Last Speed Destroyer looks the same. So I'm assuming most of the Awakening moves are pretty similar. And now they're showing the raid system that they added back in update 11. I think this is the dark raid they're showing. Oh, wait, that must have mean they also would have added the dark fruit this update as well, update 12. And by the looks of it, it doesn't look like the dark raid has changed any. I believe everything is exactly the same. Yep, even the boss room. Now you guys saw how the old Light Awakening looked. This is how the new Light Awakening looks. We have a new sword right here, which has better animations, obviously. Divine arrow shoots out three arrows instead of just one, and it's much quicker. Light Speed Destroyer is the same, except it looks better now. Hand of Emperor is also different. Wrath of God looks better. So basically the whole thing got a little bit of changes and visual touch-ups. Next up, update 13. Okay, they're doing a spider raid right now. This is the update they added the spider awakening. It also looks like they added the winter castle island as well as increased the level cap to 1450. And they're saying they're going to get a legendary sword. Oh, this is when they added the Rengoku blade as well. So this looks like a pretty big update. Okay, so they already added spider awakening and Rengoku sword. They also added death step. Oh, so new fighting style as well. That looks way different than it did now though. Dragon showcase. That's the dragon form you guys can see there. It looks exactly the same. Dragon has not changed a bit. All these years, dragon hasn't changed at all. That was a pretty jam-packed update. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty fire. Update 14. Is this when they first added the Fist of Darkness? Oh, this is when they first added the Cyborg Race, which you had to do the Law Raid to get the Core Brain, which you got right there. Looks like he's about to obtain it so we can get the Cyborg Race. Yes, sir. Let's see how expensive the Cyborg Race is. 2,500 fragments. Let's see. Is that the same as it is now? 2,500 fragments. So that hasn't changed at all. Let's see. What else did they add? Is this a different raid oh i think this is the rumble raid they added rumble awakening in update 14 i'm curious to see what the abilities look like back then first off we have lightning beast oh that looks exactly the same i think it maybe looks slightly touched up now you got the dashes right here you get three of them still let's see the x move thunderstorm oh that looks way worse so rumble did get an update sky judgment that looks the same or about the same and last but not least thunderball destruction which looks roughly about the same maybe it got slightly updated i'm gonna show you all the new rumble or at least the slightly updated one thunderstorm you guys can see it looks way cleaner and lightning beast i think looks about the same yeah everything else looks the same but alongside the rumble awakening also came a new fighting style strikeman karate full v2 dragon trident and the level cap got raised to 1500 so we're getting close to when they added third c for update 15 we had the third c same fight to get the third c it looks like though in third c pretty much is exactly the same except back then they obviously only had a few different island sea castle exactly the same looks like they added wanted posters now though a ton of new islands new fighting style electric claw new swords new accessories and seven new fruits the venom fruit spin the door fruit kilo diamond love and falcon and if you thought that was it you're wrong because they also added the magma awakening and the buddha awakening and it goes even deeper because another thing they added in update 15 was fruit trading allowing you to trade fruits between one player to another and this feature is something that really took block fruits to the next level next update 16 and we got kit gaming here wow he was playing block fruits way back then looks like they added the shadow fruit he's using the shadow fruit all of the moves look exactly the same by the way he's doing a quick showcase here yep samba rebellion looks the same oh, i'm pretty sure all the moves look the same but shadow wasn't the only fruit that got added in update 16. with the shadow fruit we also got introduced to the revive fruit which has now been completely removed and revamped to the ghost fruit and the last major changes that came in update 16 was the addition of the dragon talon and the level cap was raised to 2100 update 17 part one. So on update 17 part one, we got a new fruit, new awakening, new island, and a new weapon. Let's go ahead and check the blocks fruit shop just to see just what it got added. It looks like we got a soul fruit this update, another mythical fruit. Let's see how expensive is it? 2,550 Robux. Is it still that expensive? Let's see. So it's called spirit fruit now and it's got reworked, I believe. Still 2,550 has not changed. So first of all, the soul fruit looks completely different now than it is before and they had to change that due to copyright. Moves are also slightly different than they are back then. We also got the same and fruit awakening as well as the buddy sword update 17 part two and i think this one we got a bunch of different things yep spiky trident looks like we got a phoenix raid we also got the doe king raid which is kind of insane this is like like one of the hardest boss raids even to this day so with that obviously came the pale scarf and a bunch of other things yep he just got pale scarf right there which does a lot of different things obviously they added the phoenix awakening to this one we already went over that and they added sea events for the first time such as ship raids rumbling waters and mirage island next up update 
17 part three. Yeah, I know this is getting ridiculous. So this was when they finally changed the menu screen. They took away buggy and added the random pirate to avoid copyright. Looks like Cyborg V3 got a visual change compared to before. And this was also the major update that changed the way the game looks. Running animations are now completely different. There's also different dying animations when you die, which made the game look exactly like how we have right now. You guys can see the running animations are now the same. Like they look beautiful now, as well as like the swinging animation before they looked all wonky. We also got one of the most popular fruits ever in the game, the leopard fruit, as well as the awakening for the doe fruit, soul guitar, crystal katana, got you. Update 18. It looks like this is the update the door fruit got replaced by portal fruit. Completely new move set, completely revamped. Looks also very different. I think this is also the update they added the blizzard fruit. They replaced soul to spirit and they, they added some other awakenings and changes. And update 18 is actually the update that I started seriously playing block shoots. I, I, I knew of block shoots before, like an update 15, but 18 when they added the blizzard fruit was when I really started playing. Update 18.5. We got the introduction to race V4, which is an awakening for every race in the game that gives it special abilities and a bunch of buffs. Ah, uh, yes. Update 19. Oh, this is the one where they added the love rework. There's the Valentine's event too, the Valentine items as well. I don't remember why they reworked the love. It couldn't have been co for copyright because it's still love, but I will say I am very glad because the new ability is like 10 times better. We have heart shot, Cupid zone. We get to summon a best friend. So you get to jump people at the same time. It's really fun to be honest. Other than that though, I think update 19 was pretty small. Yeah, it was pretty much just Valentine related content. The only other thing they had was a Valentine's event where you can get like accessories and stuff like that. Reworked love fruit and string also got named a spider. And after update 19 released, we had to wait a whopping eight months before we got our next update. But the next one was one of the biggest in Bloxroot's history. Update 20. With this update, we got the sound fruit, we got mammoth fruit, and we also got the rocket fruit, but we lost the Kilo Fruit. As you guys can see, he's using Rocket right now. And the island he's currently on right now is the brand new island they released, as well as raising the level cap to 2,550. But the things we've just gone over are just the beginning of the stuff that added. We we're also supposed to get a complete first C and second rework, which we didn't end up getting, but there's a ton of more stuff that got added in update 20. For starters, we have a new enchant system that allows you to upgrade your weapons and give it buffs, such as adding fire or frost or even C damage. We also got a brand new fighting style Sanguine Art, a new sword, Shark Anchor, brand new accessories, Leviathan Shield, Crown, Terra Draw. And the biggest thing of all, almost every sword got a rework and reskin and new moves. So yeah, update 20 was pretty massive. But update 21, not so much. With update 21, it was a small event update for Halloween where we got the Ghost Fruit, which is a complete revamp and rework of the Revive Fruit. And there was also a little Halloween event, some other changes, but overall, small update. Update 22, the introduction to the brand new Kitsune Fruit, which is 4,000 Robux and also, you know, to be fair, a very insane fruit. Who doesn't love Kitsune? Alongside getting Kitsune, we also got a C event which spawned a Kitsune Shrine, which gave you weapons and other accessories if you completed the tasks. And the weapons and accessories included Fox Lamp, Kitsune Mask, and Kitsune Ribbon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the final update of the game, the last one, we started off with Update 1, a game from humble beginnings with not much stuff, all the way to what we have now, the final update, 23. In this update, one of the main features we got was a Shipwright subclass. Being a shipwright allows you to repair your damaged boats and heal them when you're on sea events. And the last important thing we got in this update was the new T-Rex Beast Fruit, which is 2,350 Robux. Very expensive, but a very fire fruit. And that there is the entire history of Blocks Fruit, starting from update 1 all the way to update 23. I must say, there's been a lot of changes, and it's been a crazy journey, but it's just the beginning. Comment down below which update was your guys' favorite. And if you enjoyed these Blocks Fruit videos, make sure to click on this other one I did here.